you are most welcome to the phoebe way as tradition demands i bring to you the legal updates and before we get into the details let me just give you the topics and the new things that we await us this month of june number one june 14th pharmacy workers are set to go on strike number two the corona van app is also going into sleep modus so it is not going to be active number three children who are yet to turn 18 are about to turn 18 and children who are 18 are set to receive the Kultur Pass. We'll get into the details in a bit. Number four, Deutsche Bahn has now updated, let me just put it that way, updated their passenger rights. So now they have changed the rules or somehow moderated the rules as when and how you are eligible for reimbursement if your train delays or does not run. Number five, Bao Kindergeld has been replaced. So you will have quite an idea now that this month is very interesting for parents. So if you want to know the details, stay with me. So the pharmacy workers, as in employees at Apotheken, are going on strike on the 14th of June. And this is because they are tired of this difficulties when it comes to supply of medicine and medical um products and also they are tired of being understaffed and underpaid they are tired of being underfunded so this is why they're going on the strike and if you remember especially I'm, I'm sure that parents would remember this that this was serious after the war started because they were faced with shortages when it comes to children cough syrups, children um, fever syrups and fever medications. And this is why they are going on strike. But if you definitely have to go to this pharmacy on the 14th of June, there are emergency pharmacies that are going to be opened. You know how some pharmacies are open on Sundays. That's how it's going to work on that day as well. Yes. Next topic is the Corona Van app. Yes. As most of the regulations or all the regulations have been scrapped, are no more in existence, are no more valid. The coronavirus app last year, last month, was not telling you if somebody around you had corona or not, had been infected. This time around, they are saying that the whole app is going into sleep mode. So if you are using the coronavirus app to prove that you've been vaccinated or that you have recovered and all that, please look for a new way to prove that, okay? And now nobody's even asking. So I guess that's one of the reasons why the app is going into sleep mode. Number three, Kate will be getting the cultural pass. This cultural pass is some kind of compensation for children who had to go through corona and lockdown. You know, they, they basically lost a lot of their social life. So the 200 euro cultural pass is supposed to help them, you know, pay um, for movies at cinemas, to go to museums and other cultural places for them to, you know, be able to go out without breaking the bank. So we say kudos to the government for that. And if you want to know more about that, if you go on YouTube, I'm going to put the link of the uh, how they should go about it and get the app on their phone. Yes, I'm going to put the link on in the description box on YouTube because I can't do that on TikTok. So I'm going to do that on YouTube. So go check it out on YouTube and get the link and download it. If your child is yet to turn 18, so between 17 and 18, if your child is 18, they are eligible for the cool tour pass. Yes. Number four. So Deutsche Bahn has changed the passenger rights. If you're familiar, once your train delays uh, for a certain amount of minutes, you are eligible to get reimbursed for the ticket of the ticket price and all of that. Now they're saying that if they have no control over the reason for the delay or for the train not running, then you are not eligible for reimbursement, right? So now they can be late and the reason for them delaying is what will determine whether you get your money back or not. Some of the reasons why you might not be getting your money back is extreme weather. People clambering across across the tracks, people stay stealing cables. So if your train is delayed for any of these reasons, kiss your money, bye bye. Before it just the train had to just delay for more than sixty minutes, and you get your money back or part of it back, right? But now, if the reasons are beyond Deutsche Bank's control, you will not get your money back. Number five, Bau Kindergeld. 
So Bao Kinder Geld is not has now been changed and replaced to one eigentum to your familian. And this, a lot of people thought that this means that once you get a, a child, you're going to get the money in your hands. So no. the Bao Kinder Geld is for families. It's a kind of subsidy for families who are trying to build a property or buy a property, right? So that is the Bao Kindergeld. Now, it has been replaced by Von Eigentum, your familian, VAF. Good. What is this about? So families who have um, income below 60,000 euros in the year are eligible for this. It's for loans ranging, ranging between... 140,000 and 240,000, okay? If you plan to build a house or buy a house and you are earning less than 60,000 euros together with your partner or with the other parent and you plan to live in this house, it's not just for you to buy the house and resell it. No, it has to be the home that you and your family want to live in. Then you're eligible for this. You can apply for it and you will get it basically so it is not money for you to go and collect and chop no it is money if you want to buy a property if you want to buy a house if you want to build a house this is money for you to fall back on so guys apart from that the children in nlv are starting their summer ferien and i'm no more in uh high school and gymnasium and all of that but i remember that time when i was in school i was very very envious of children in nlv so, yeah, congratulations to you guys. You know, summer ferien, and I'm wishing you all the best for this month, that all good things will happen for us this month, and we all go from strength to strength to strength to strength for the rest of the year, and may all good things come to us. Yes. Have a wonderful June, and see you with the legal updates next month. And there are other things on my channel as well. I try to bring in some travel. I try to bring in some beauty. I try to bring in positive vibes. So yes, what are you waiting for? Comment down below on what you think about what we have discussed today. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram. And if you have any questions, some people have been sending their questions. I hope I have answered everyone. If I have not, please remind me, okay? Have a good one and see you next time. Cheers.